Let's think of people at different stages of spiritual growth. As Christians, we want to move closer to Christ over there on the right. Well, what would the extreme other end of that look like? Well, that might be the God-hater, mm -hmm. somebody who is angry with God, not interested in having anything to do with God. Yeah, and, and maybe some of you used to be at that stage of spiritual growth and, and have moved on, or maybe some of you are still there. Uh, we can think of other stages. For example, the questioning non-believer. That's someone who's wondering about Christianity, maybe asking questions like, you know, is it really true? Can I trust it? What, what about this? Did Jesus really rise from the dead? Things like that. It's important to understand that that's a normal part of spiritual growth. Right. Mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, youth leaders, don't think that the world is coming to an end just because the youth in your church or your children or your grandchildren, as they get into junior high or high school, start asking questions about the Bible and theology, thinking they're heading toward atheism. Right. Yeah. It's a normal phase of spiritual growth. Yeah, uh, the Bible is under attack, and, it, and it's always been under attack. But today, the attacks are so much more blatant that, than, they, than they were a generation or two ago. Now, as a result, a normal young person today growing up in a Christian environment will be very likely to have faith-hindering questions about the Bible. The goal with spiritual growth is to push through that stage, getting right. to the point where you know that the Bible is true. So another normal part of spiritual growth is getting answers to those faith-hindering questions. Right, and, and, then, and then moving on from there to the point where they trust Christ, of course. The problem is many people never get there. They end up becoming one of these survey results. So what happened? Well, they were confronted with questions like, how did dinosaurs fit into the Bible? How did Noah get all the animals on the ark? Where'd the water come from for the flood? Isn't the Bible full of contradictions? And science disproves the Bible anyways. Where does an ice age fit into the Bible? And many others. And that throws up a barrier that hinders further spiritual growth. They never get answers to those questions, and they become convinced over time that the Bible must be wrong, and they drift away. Maybe some of you watching are at that stage where you have big questions about Christianity and the Bible. Right. And you can feel yourself drifting away from the God of the Bible rather than toward Him. So what's the solution? What's the way forward? Well, the, the way forward is get answers to those faith-hindering questions. There are answers. The, the attacks against truth by the skeptics can and have been refuted. The Bible is true. God exists, and He hates sin. And everyone will one day stand before Him to give an account for their sins. Your spiritual growth is not something that can be taken lightly or flippantly with a casual attitude. Your eternal destiny depends on it. So what's holding you back? Many people don't trust God's word enough or don't know it well enough to base their life on it. Right. If that describes you, then there's the answer. Get to the point where you know that God's word is true. That's right, yeah. Get answers to those faith-hindering questions that you might have. That, that's a good place to start. Uh, there's a huge amount of material available nowadays to help provide that equipping that will encourage your faith, energize your faith, energize your spiritual growth.